Hello, I'm Claude King on Return to Me, and this week I'd like for us to focus our attention on loving God. Jesus said the first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. When I had the privilege of working with Henry Blackaby on the message Experiencing God, Henry would teach one of the realities of experiencing God that God pursues a continuing love relationship with us that is real and personal. But as Henry would teach, we began to realize that there are people who've had poor experiences with an earthly father, and consequently they were having difficulty getting close to God as a heavenly father. Um, people who'd been abused or neglected or abandoned all kinds of different issues that might be involved. Uh, they were going through life saying, God, please love me. Don't get too close. And they were missing out on the intimacy with the Heavenly Father that they needed to experience. I remember at one of our conferences, uh, I was walking by our conference room and there was a lady sitting in there all by herself that afternoon. And so I went in and sat across the table from her and said, tell me what's going on. And she said, well, I came to the conference center to get away from my problems. But she said, I got to go back in a couple of days. And so I decided I needed to make a list of my top three problems. And uh, she read me a list of 10 things and they were all bad things. And uh, she was just overwhelmed with her problems. I got the impression she was at the end of her rope emotionally. And as we talked, I realized because of the severe abuse she had experienced at the hands of her earthly father, uh, she was really having trouble getting close to God as a heavenly father. I didn't know what to tell her, but I, I knew the Lord did, and so we prayed. And as I was praying, I thought, Lord, she, she knows about your love in her head. She needs to experience your love and I, I can't help her experience that. That's something you're going to have to convince her of. And um, so I prayed a little bit, and then I finished praying. I said, I, I just sense that what, what you need to do is get alone with your Heavenly Father and allow Him to reveal His love to you. I could tell she was exhausted from uh, all of the difficulties she was facing. And I said, why don't you go take a nap? and get some rest, and then forget your conferences the rest of the day, and go spend some time with your Heavenly Father, and just get alone with Him, and uh, drop your guard, and allow Him to reveal His love to you. I said, I don't know what it's going to look like, but if God doesn't convince you, I can't help you, uh, because you already know what His love's like in, in your head. You need to experience His love. The next day, she came up to me at the conference and said, let me tell you what happened to me. She said, I, I took your advice and I went and got, took a nap and got some rest. And then I went and spent the afternoon in the prayer garden with my Heavenly Father. And He loved me. She said, I have never experienced that kind of love from Him before. And she said, I, I went to my room to call my husband and tell him what had happened to me. And she said, here, the most meaningful experience in my life, I'm telling my husband, and he changes the subject to tell me about his golf game. She said, that's the way he does. He just uh, never cares about the things that really matter to me. She said, it always hurt in the past, but she said, something struck me that uh, this time it didn't hurt because I know my Heavenly Father loves me, and right now, that's enough. Well, um, we prayed, and uh, she called me months later and said, I just want to let you know, it's like I've had a heart transplant, and now I have a love for my Heavenly Father like I've never known before. God wants to reveal His love to us. We need to experience His love. And uh, I want to encourage you to take time this week to allow God to love you. Maybe you'll need to get alone and spend some time walking and talking with your Heavenly Father. It may be that you need to share with a brother or sister in Christ about the brokenness in your past. You don't have to go into all the details, but ask them to pray for you. 
because God has given us uh, spiritual weapons that have power to demolish strongholds. And uh, we can demolish arguments and every pretension that raises itself up against the knowledge of God. Just spend some time with your Heavenly Father and ask Him to reveal His love to you. Uh, you can't experience it unless He does it, but He can. He wants to. Let God reveal His love to you this week. And let's, uh, let's love God.